the scriptures are given to us to show us the path of life. You see that? To show us the ways of life. To show us how we should follow God. God bless you, SK. Sahabondi. God bless you. And so I want to read to you from Psalm chapter 2, beginning from verse 1. This is the scripture every believer must get to know, get to understand. If you want to be fruitful, if you want to see results, if you want your life to be changed, to transform, you need this secret. All right. So Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of wicked people or stand in the ways of sinners. He said, Rather, or sit in the seat of the mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on it he meditates day and night. He says, Such a person, he will be like a tree planted by the streams of waters. Your leaves shall not wither, whatever he does shall prosper. So he tells you as a believer, as a Christian, what to do to prosper, what to do to be successful, what to do to be fruitful, what to do to make your life become what God said it should be. I want to see you be a success. I want to see you be fruitful. That's why I want to share with you this wisdom, this revelation. Please take it seriously. You see, if you want God's word, if you want the blessings of God, you must do it according to the ways of God. You see that? Because being blessed is not only the accumulation of material things, but being blessed has to be both physical and spiritual. And so according to this scripture, a blessed person is a person who is blessed physically and spiritually. That means you are in a state of connecting with God, having God's approval in what you do and in what you have. That's what it means to be blessed. And so here Psalm is telling us, he said, you as a believer, as a believer, I must not desire to walk in the ways of wicked people. I should not desire to take the counsel of evil people. I should not desire to sit where mockers are sitting to mock people. I should not take wicked counsel. For example, if someone needs my help, I cannot take wicked counsel not to help that person. I cannot listen to someone else who is not interested in helping other people not to help. So the purpose of God for me as his child is to be able to be a blessing to others. Do you get the point? So he's telling you, do not walk in the ways of sinners. Sinners have no regard for God. They have no fear of God. They don't take the things of God seriously. Mockers are people who sit and speak evil about others. They slander others. They gossip about others. He said, do not be associated with such people. Don't give yourself to them. He said, but instead, meditate on God's word. He said, meditate on it day and night. Give yourself to God's word. Oh, hallelujah. What does the word of God say about me? What does God's word promise me? These are the things I need to give myself to meditate constantly. He said, do it day and night. He said, when we give ourselves to the meditation of the scripture, putting them in our heart, letting them guard us, letting them hold us, letting them lead us. He said, we shall be like trees that are planted 
by the strings of words, whatever we do will prosper. That is the key to prosperity. The secret to prosperity is having the foundation that comes from the word of the Lord. He said you will prosper in what you do. He said you shall be like that tree on the riverside. He said your season shall not pass without you being fruitful. That means the word of the Lord has been given to us to make us become fruitful and prospering. And remember, prospering is not just the accumulation of material things. We can prosper in the knowledge of God. We can prosper in the wisdom of God. We can prosper in the understanding of God. We can prosper in the models of doing things or the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you, fellas. And that resonates with what Jesus says. Jesus speaking in John chapter 15, verse 5 there about this is, I am the vine, and you are the branches. He says a branch cannot do anything by itself unless it abides in the vine. He said the same way. A true believer cannot do anything except Christ. What does that mean? There are many unbelievers who are successful without Christ. That is not the point. What Christ is talking about is the fact that in order to do things that are approved of God, you see that you must abide in him. That's why being blessed is not just material things. They must have God approval in your dealings, in our success, in our prospering. If the approval of God is not included, it's a waste. That's what the scripture tells us. Is it what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So even as you go about seeking for prosperity, seeking how to be fruitful, the scripture tells us how not to do it and how to do it. He said, don't do it in the way of sin, in the way of evil. Don't take evil counsel. You see that? He's like a young man who is desperate to be rich. And he's willing to do anything to be rich. And they introduce this young man to drugs. And he took drugs. And he's, he starts selling drugs. He starts becoming successful, having a lot of money. And one day he got caught. All his success come to an end and is a waste and himself is put in prison. That's what it is to take evil counsel. Evil counsel show you the secret to shortcut that will end you up in a later time in a difficult situation. But when it comes from the Models of God's word. He said, The Lord make her rich and add her no sorrow to it. When you sleep, you will sleep like a baby. But you know, if you become prosperous in an evil ways, you can't sleep. When you sleep, it's like someone is coming. <laughs> Every second you are opening your eyes to see who is coming because. You are not protected with the peace of God. Hallelujah. So if you are a believer, this is what the Lord wants us to understand. That true blessings are actually based using God's word as the ground for your success. 
Oh, glory be to God. So I'm going to start praying for people. So if you have a prayer need, a prayer point, put it there on the comment section. God bless you, Felix. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Maleko bade vazevi dakusha. Remember, God wants us to be fruitful in our season. No one ever started business and doesn't want profit. The Bible says that Christ is the first fruit. You see that? He's the first born from among the dead. And so all who come later are the fruit of Christ. You see that? So Christ wants us to be fruitful in our season. And in order to be fruitful in your season, you must give yourself to God's word because it is only by the power and the inspiration of the Almighty one can be able to be fruitful in the path of righteousness. We can't just do it outside the scope of God's word and his inspiration. Therefore, it is necessary if we want to see the fruit of righteousness come out of us, fruit that touch people's life, fruit that become a voice for God, fruit that set orders on fire, we must give ourselves to the scriptures. He said, you shall meditate on the word of God. And he said, do it day and night. He said, you must not only meditate it to make yourself successful. It must be a delightful thing to you. You must carry the word of God above all else. For out of his word, God created the whole universe. He says, I have exalted my word above my name oh glory how many of you are listening to me don't just prosper in your own ways it will not end you well proverbs say better is the little the righteous has than plenty out of evil ways. Do you get the point? So God wants to prosper you. He wants to prosper you. He wants you to be fruitful. He wants to multiply you. But He is looking at us. He's looking at us. How do we value his word how do we put his word in our life what is the position of his word in what we do god wants us to understand he said blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked people who stand in their ways Neither sit among those who speak evil about others. Is it but that person delight rather in God's word? Instead of getting talking about others, go and speak the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want glory. Lombra costo fateni to astes. I prophesy over your life. May the Spirit of God help you. May the Spirit of God equip you. I 
to break every chains of bondage, every chains of limitation, every shackles of hell. I give a decree now. Be free. Everyone under the sound of my voice. I prophesy over your spirit, soul, and body. Receive deliverance. Let the fire of God touch you. Let the fire of God touch you. In the name of Jesus. Be free from your limitation. Be free from your hindrances. Be free from everything that entangles you. If you are sick, I proclaim healing over your spirit, over your soul, over your body. Receive your miracle. Hallelujah. I prophesy that you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Baraka sofata labida. Zezina tonina. Don't forget to leave your comment, like, and share to reach other people. And if you've got some question, you've got some prayer point, drop them in the comment section so we can see you and then we can pray for you. If you want me to pray for you, drop your comment in the comment box so I can see you because I can't see every one of you I'm not that close to the camera so I pray for you that may the spirit of God helps you may the fire of God rest upon your life that you will have a hunger and a desire to stay on God's word to live on God's word, to feed on God's word. Paraviko vavaviava zevidatos, presefando ritatuateni, zezinando zezia zapiata, elaku talibarakiato so patana. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man. The scripture tells us who a blessed person is. Not according to the ways of the world, where they think a blessed person is a person with a big bank account in a lot of houses. But blessed is a person who fears the Lord. Blessed is a person who is in Christ. Blessed is a person who knows God. Blessed is a person who has God's approval. Blessed is a person who has been given the grace to participate in the salvation of God's kingdom. That's what it means to be blessed in the eyes of God. <laughs> there are different ways people see blessings. But in the Christian context and perspective, our blessing come from God. Barake so fa feti tatutas. Zezina 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 za. Zamina kudana vita. Oh glory be to God. Maleko pato liba katuni. Is a siren. Thank you Father. Braka so fa labadinas. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man. Say to yourself, I'm blessed for knowing God. Blessed is the man who can pray to God. Blessed is the man who can worship God. Blessed is the man who can read the word of God. Blessed is the man whom God causes to approach him. Do you see that? Blessed is the person God calls to approach him. So if you are saved, you are blessed. Because no one can get close to God unless God has drawn them there. Jesus says, no man can come to me unless the one the Father 
draws him closer. Do you see now? So many of the things that we do not cherish, we do not value, are actually the basics of our blessing. The basics of our success. Oh, hallelujah. I prophesy over your life, Chibo, that let a new season come upon your life. In the name of Jesus, let there be an activation of a new season by the Spirit of God. A new season is coming. Oh, hallelujah. A new season. A new season. I declare over you, people, a new season is coming. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will be served on the course of your life which God has written about you. Glory be to God. Um, me, Mridul, I pray for you in the name of Jesus that may you rise above your circumstance, may you rise above your limitations, may you rise above the things that try to oppress and afflict you in the name of Jesus. Of the goodness of God. Thank you, Father. Oh, my life, you have been faithful. Come on, somebody. All my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am breathing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. His goodness is running over us. Now is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may not meet you. Tomorrow may not meet you. And so today being the day of salvation, I call you by the Spirit of God. Submit to God. He says, Submit yourself under the hands of the Almighty God that He may lift you up. Submit yourself to God. How do you do that? You say, Heavenly Father, with all that I am, I submit myself to you. I believe in your Son Jesus Christ. I receive Him into my heart, into my life. I ask for His help. I ask for his strength to follow you and to know you. I still pray that a power is transmitted into you, that power will help you. It's the power of the Spirit of God. And if you haven't given your life to Christ, you are not sure if you are saved or not. Salvation is something you have to be sure. Because the Spirit convicts us to know whether we are saved or not. So if you are saved, you should know by the Spirit of God will convict you. But if you are not sure, say this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you today with all my heart. I turn from my sins, from my ways. Please forgive me. Please cleanse me. Wash me in the blood of your son Jesus and receive me into your kingdom. Show me how to follow you, how to worship you, how to walk with you. In Jesus' name. When you say that prayer, grace has been imparted to your spirit to follow God and to know him. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that beautiful? 
Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. I believe. I believe so. Don't you agree with me? It's a beautiful thing to be saved. So may the Lord bless you. May the Spirit of God rest upon you. May God continue to strengthen you and give you peace. May His grace rest upon you. May His blessing rest upon you. May His mercy find you. Say, Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, thank you for your mercy. Oh, glory be to God. So God bless you. You have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am breathing, I will sing of the goodness. All right, God bless you and have a blessed week. I prophesy that your week shall be fruitful, shall be blessed, full of good news, that God will continue to guide you to walk in the path of righteousness, and that everything you touch, may the favor of God touch it. Everything you do, may the help of God come towards it. May you apply less effort and see more results in the name of Jesus the Christ. May your life become what God has purposed to be from eternity into time. Things that contend with your destiny, I give a verdict in the realms of this spirit that from today, any forces contending with you is defeated and banished forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say Amen. God bless you and have a blessed day.